What's up YouTube? Uh, my name is Roger. This is my first video vlog. I'm in Istanbul, Turkey right now. Look at the view guys. Beautiful view. This is gorgeous. Can't beat this view. Um, yeah, look at it. Beautiful. So my whole idea with this vlog is to show you guys what rhinoplasty is in Istanbul. Uh, my doctor, my uh, surgery cost just step by step on how I'm doing it right and of course everyone experience everyone's experience is gonna be different um, this is gonna be my personal experience um, I'm a male I'm young I'm a young male um, and I've always hated my nose I I'll just show you real quick so on my side view there is a bump like there's a cartilage that I do want to remove um, I'm pretty much gonna tell my doctor um Look, I want a natural nose. I don't want like I don't want too much of a small Michael Jackson kind of nose. I want it to be natural and masculine as well. So I'm just gonna tell him to remove this. That's it. That's it. very simple procedure. Um, everyone is different, of course. Down in the description below, I'll uh, show you guys the doctor that I chose. Um, he's in based in Istanbul, and yeah, it should be fun. <laughs> Good morning guys, I'm here in Tuscan Square right now. Um, it's a very busy, uh, apparently this area in Turkey. Um, there's a lot of tourists, uh, there's people going on around. Um, I do have my mask, so you know, I'm just taking it off for of my video. Um, yeah, so I'm just enjoying, we're vibing out, um, just walking around. I'm, I am hungry, um, so I'm probably gonna get some food later on. I'll record that as well. Um, yeah, so stay tuned guys, appreciate the love. I put this down with this one. In here in, uh, how do you pronounce it again? Gala, Gala to Tower. Gala to Tower, that ticket office is over there. This is where all these people are waiting to go to this uh, movie show tower right here. It is a tourist destination, so it is quite crowded here, which is why I'm wearing a mask. But yeah, it should be, it should be fun. So like I said guys, this is uh, pretty much a better view of the tower. Um, this is a nice little angle right here too. So you have a perfect little angle to see the whole tower right now. It's a very like, you know, I call it like Instagram uh, picture taking club. Um, yeah, it's a bad. It's a bad things, you know? Is that not the cutest cat ever? Look how cute that cat is. Yeah, man. <laughs> that area right there is the Sultans, is what uh, my cameraman has uh, told me over here. Look at the view, though. Look at it.
Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm currently inside the hospital right now. Um, we're it's like five in the morning, six in the morning. I am so nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm I wasn't nervous earlier, but now me stepping into the hospital, I am very nervous. But I know this doctor is good. I know I have you know people helping me out as well. So like I'm fairly confident in this uh, procedure and surgery. But um, yeah, I'm I'm a human being. I'm nervous. It's gonna happen to you if you uh, are thinking about getting a rhinoplasty that's a normal feeling um yes yeah, so this hospital is very nice actually um and i'm super excited to get this uh finally done my entire life guys entire life always wanted a surgery um and i'm finally doing it um yeah super excited hey guys so uh i just finished the surgery um it's not too bad actually the pain wasn't that bad um i i do feel a little like um i don't know it's hard to breathe through my nose but like I'm, uh, it's not too bad uh this doctor has been very good as well so uh, it's so important that you choose a good doctor because this uh person obviously knows what he's doing uh the swelling uh i feel like isn't too bad as well uh compared to other people i've seen in the past and i'm super excited can't wait to show you guys uh, the results. Thank you guys. What's up guys? Uh, so I just came back from the hospital. It's the third day in. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty swole. Uh, I do feel a little better, but as you can see, my eyes and my nose and my cheekbones especially have swollen up. I am icing, I'm taking my medicine. Uh, and you know, it's not too bad. It really isn't too bad and by the doctor said by like in three days it should all heal up so as you can see again my eyes are swollen up but that's completely normal don't be scared if if you are someone who's interested in a rhinoplasty this is completely normal uh it's a little hard to breathe through my nose i'm not gonna lie to you but um you know it is what it is it's not too bad and make sure you, uh, make sure you ice it make sure you take your medicine and make sure you listen to everything your doctor is telling you because everyone is different my body is different than your body so make sure you listen all right what's up guys so i just want to pretty much explain what the process is like during uh, your recovery stage so my doctor gave me this box inside comes uh, a syringe uh with sea salt inside so you kind of just stir it up and this is what it looks like what you have to do is every three hours you would have to pretty much uh you know clean your nose uh this is really essential for your uh, recovery process and i and i can't stress enough how much uh this is important so what i normally do is i would obviously just quickly get some sea salt water make sure your mouth is open at all times and quickly like you can kind of see there's like a hole right here you just have to put it inside this is gonna hurt guys it's it's not like the best feeling but you gotta do it and just go down and squeeze oh yeah so what that does is well what that does is cleans your nose it removes all the blood and all the clogs that Oh, I can't even talk. Uh, all the clock uh, uh, stuff. Every three hours is what you're supposed to do. Uh, just listen to your doctor, and yeah, this is what my daily cleaning task is. Uh, we have here, I know you guys are gonna hate me, but I couldn't help myself. Pizza Hut. We got some Pizza Hut pizza, chicken wings, potato fries, regular fries. Uh, we also have Starbucks as well.
Listening digits, ooh. Feed up, baby girl, let's live. PJ Man. They were Kurdish? Yeah. Not Turkish? Kurdish. Oh. So this is pretty much the, the so shopping center, guys. We're just around here too. Oh, this is good for you. It's such a like a interesting um sorry guys it's such an interesting texture it's like it's not soft it's like thick you know what I mean it's really good things you know it's about things
guys uh so today is my final day in istanbul turkey i believe today's eight days so um i will be heading back to new york um so i just want to let you guys know uh i couldn't really enjoy turkey to the fullest because obviously i came here for surgery um note to self and for others if you do want to enjoy turkey i highly suggest you book your flight like prior before your uh, actual surg surgery date so that way you could enjoy yourself you can vibe out you can enjoy the view get some nice food and stuff um i just didn't know that to be honest with you i thought like my recovery would be um just easy in general but uh that was not the case at all uh let me just give you guys an update so this is eight days as you can see i am still swollen up uh it's gone down significantly actually i can tell my face shape is uh, starting to get smaller um it is a little harder to breathe still um i'm not gonna lie because just everything's just clogged up uh that is completely normal as you can see this cheek specifically is a little swollen up um and i can't even smile to be honest with you guys like this is the for, like like i kid you not i can't go past this stuff because i was actually watching a really funny movie on netflix and it just fucked me up and yeah so this is eight days the doctor told me you'll see full results in six months or to a year even um i'm super excited it is a little still swollen over here i can just tell by the mirror um but yeah this recovery process is completely normal my whole face is swollen cheers guys Moon Hasir. and I just ordered some delicious Turkish food. Um, what is this? Iskender. Iskender. This is called Iskender. Uh, it looks delicious. It has some meat, protein inside, sauce, yogurt, uh, french fries as well. I'm super excited to uh, just dig this in. Um, yeah, I need this. It's my last day here. So I gotta treat myself, you know? my final uh, moment right here. I'm about to leave Turkey, Istanbul. I'm about to land to New York. Um, online, obviously. So I'll, I guess I'll see you guys in New York. What's up, guys? Uh, so I am back here in New York. Um, I just want to let you guys know um, I feel a little better. I can breathe a little better. My swelling on the face has gone down drastically so it's been 11 days guys this is my 11th day after my surgery it's it's fine the pain it, it's not really painful it's just more of a nuance because uh your facial expressions and stuff when you're watching a movie you can't laugh that shit sucks but it's fine um as far as the pain goes on my nose itself really no pain um i am cleaning it every night i'm taking all my meds i'm doing everything my doctor has been telling me to do um yeah it's a journey guys i'll show you guys uh my three month whole year process and hopefully you guys like my uh results what's up uh, youtube so i'm here in tribeca we're about to eat uh, some delicious tacos i'm super psyched about this uh haven't had uh tacos in a while uh it's chicken i got some green sauce got some lime about to dig in and about to uh, get some work done in tribeca